Okay, shalom, shalom, come ya shalom. Koholoi mla yahoo bashim yahoo shai bahashim rachahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all you Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Slock you for the noise. You know, Jake is out here popping down fireworks on Juneteenth. Like it's their 4th of July. Jake will celebrate anything, man. But anyway, <laughs> let me get this real quick. Because over this so-called weekend of Father's Day, going off into uh, your Juneteenth, man, Jake been blowing each other away. Blowing each other away. They don't have, you don't have no respect for your Father's Day that you're... you're um, you know, out here running around <laughs> celebrating, you know, which was a bunch of bullshit anyway. Your Juneteenth, it, it's, it, it, you're slapping yourself in the face. You're slapping the face of your damn self. You know, <laughs> Jake out here <laughs> busting off fireworks. And, and where's the marches at? Where, where, where's your BLM? Where's your Black Lives Matter when it comes down to you niggas blowing each other away out here, shooting at each other? Don't none of you even think to say, hey, you know, hey, it's Juneteenth, bro. We, we, hey, we need to, you know, come together. Anyway, let me, um, I'm going to get some of this here. Let's get some of this real quick. Let's see. Again, celebrations in several cities have been torn apart by gunfire. At least 12 people were killed since Friday. At least Preston has more on the violent weekend. <laughs> At a Juneteenth celebration in Willowbrook, Illinois, one dead, 22 injured. At a party in St. Louis, Missouri, one dead, nine injured, all teenagers. All those attending will carry with them the scars, physical and mental, from the gun violence that tore into their lives. A music festival in Washington, a nightclub in Georgia, a house party in California, more than a dozen mass shootings, nearly 100 people injured. And that was just this weekend. Let me be clear. We will not tolerate such acts of violence in our community. So far this year, more than 800 children and teenagers have been killed by guns, which includes homicides and suicides. And it's part of a startling trend. Looking at CDC data, a new report this month by the Johns Hopkins Center for Gun Violence Solutions found 2021 set a record for the most deaths ever, nearly 49,000. What is your reaction to seeing this continuously play out? Unfortunately, we see mass shootings every day in America, um, so it's not it's not surprising. Josh Horwitz is the center's co-director and says states and the federal government need to redouble their efforts to stop gun violence. We also think the limiting access to firearms in public is important, and of course, investing in community violence intervention programs will pay dividends and save lives. For CBS Mornings, I'm Elise Preston. Okay, that shit ain't gonna do no good. Yeah, they damn mind. They ain't gonna do no good at all. Let me go into this history. Because I pulled a few stories, man. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, that just popped up in my feed just before <laughs> I was getting ready to go into the lesson. I'm like, well, hey, let's let this play too. Because see where I'm at right here in um my city, they had 24 shootings. So that's to go along with the ones. they. That was just a few of them that they pointed out on the news. They didn't mention my city. 24 people got shot within the past two days. 14 of them died. <laughs> and, and I mean, today is, is your so-called Juneteenth. Ain't no telling how many people gon' gonna, 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 you know, go out before this shit is over with. You can hear Jake with the dumbass fireworks. That shit's stupid as hell. Jake don't think, man. Jake don't think. This is the reason why the Lord is, 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 is doing um, our people real dirty, man. And we deserve it. I mean, when you come into the truth, you start to see and you start to figure like, you know, yeah, the Lord, we do, we need to ask what we getting. We need it. When you look at us as a people, man, we we are through, man. We need the ass whooping that we're receiving from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, 
you are the Hebrew Israelites. Y'all better repent and get your shit together because you haven't seen nothing yet. You don't want no parts of what the Lord is bringing to this place, man. These, these are the basics. This, this right here is just the beginning of sorrows. And the scripture says, Matthew, um, what's that, 24 and 12, it says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It, it's a lot of cold-blooded shit going on in this place, man. People doing their own people dirty as shit. Family members right in the house, grew up with them, biological people, man. Doing them dirty, man. The kids killing the parents, parents killing the kids. I mean, it's all manner of wickedness going on in this place, man. But let's get, um... That's what else we got here? Because because I was going <laughs> I was going to go into a lesson on judgment. Going off into some of these news articles about the way that the Lord is judging our people, man. And let's see what this one is. I don't even know if this is even Jake or not, but just judgment going out on people in general, but especially the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and out of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the, the, the woman, the Lord is really doing the women of Israel dirty, 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 man. The women are catching it real bad. That's why y'all need to put on some goddamn clothes and forget about this hot girl summer. You need to put some clothes on like it's cold outside because the Lord is about to get down this summer. He's getting down already. Look at the numbers. These are all from you. How about Shimei Shai? Okay, this is Taurus 33, plunges 4,000 feet to his death at the Grand Canyon Skywalk. Can you imagine that? Just the, the heartbeat? Can you imagine the adrenaline? You being ripped to shreds, rocks and, 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 and edges catching your ass, cutting you, clipping you, breaking your bones, snapping your little shit up. Can you imagine that? That's terror, man, from your how about Shimia Shai, man. So let me, let me just go off of here real quick. Let's... Let's grab a quick script real quick. We have to go into these scriptures right here uh, uh, sometimes, man. Because I knew, I would normally go off into the news like that. The brother down, um, the elder down in Mississippi, he goes off into it all the time, almost every day. He's going off into the news, showing you the way that the Lord is judging people out here in this planet, man. He's not playing. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 for you Christians that's running around out here talking about Satan this, Satan that. A Satan is just an employee for the Lord, man. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That's the Lord. That's the Lord speaking. He kills. He makes alive. He wounds, he heals. Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand. You can't do nothing if the Lord wants you out of here. The Lord will set you up just like this person right here. Set him up to get dressed. Probably had coffee, bagels, went to Starbucks or Panera Bread or some shit. Had a great morning. Probably, took, you know, spoke to his girlfriend on FaceTime or some shit or his wife or whatever. Or, you know, probably just got up, kissed his wife and babies. You know? Spoke to his mama and them on FaceTime. Got into his car, made it to that place right on time to fall his ass right off into that spot, man. 4,000 feet? You know how far, man, that 4,000 feet? How you at the edge of some shit that, can, that, that you can fall that far? So this lets me, this pretty much lets me know that this might be an Edomite, because that's Edomite type shit. Jake not really doing shit. Like, Jake do stupid shit nowadays, though. But Jake not really in this, you know, that type of stupidity. Right, but let me get this one before I go back off into the next article. Amos, chapter three and verse six: Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? See, the Lord is the one that's 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 in control of these mis or, or I, I can't even call them mishaps. They call them mishaps. They call them accidents. They call them coincidences and things like that. But man's goings of the Lord. Let me get that real quick. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 24, real fast. Yeah, Jake out here, man, on a Monday, like, there ain't, ain't no work tomorrow. <laughs> Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh. How can a man then understand his own way? See? 
We don't understand what we're going to get into. You think I did? I, I woke up this morning and, and, and understood that I will be doing this lesson at this particular time. No, nah, man. And that you would be listening to it. Think about that, man. This is why we need to have a healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and to be thankful, thankful, praising Yahweh for bringing us into this truth, man. Because there are people out here that's just <laughs> dying in the most horrific ways. Don't know. I mean, just just out here, just just cruising for bruising right now. It's people out here cruising towards death. That's going to happen to them within minutes from now, man. Hey, the Lord is cold, man. How time to awake out of sleep and repent. Let's see what else um, was in here. Let me see. I'm just trying to see uh, some of the stuff that I, uh, I was checking into in my some of these stories. Uh, damn, this right here was cold. Men with assault rifles fire on car, killing pregnant mother and critical, critically wounding newborn. In senseless daytime shooting in D.C. This is not no nighttime shit. This is not no, you know, the niggas sneaking around and waiting on everybody to not be up and not be looking. Niggas is, 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 is running through the streets, shooting broad daylight at, at pregnant women. <laughs> right? This is why I just said, you know, the Lord, he's judging a lot of women real harshly, man. Especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women. Yeah, I hear with your ass out. Yeah, I hear with your tits out. You talking all kinds of shit. You all kinds of manly. You got on them big ass eyelashes, but you all kinds of manly. You talking all kinds of shit to everybody. You know? Pregnant women out here acting like they can knuckle up with a six foot five nigga. I mean, these things are happening. Pregnant, a pregnant woman will, 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 will square off with you like they're not even pregnant, man. Fuck them being a woman. Not like, like they're not pregnant at all. You see what I'm saying? So, that, hey, that's just, I'm just, you know, touching on the, the, um, the titles or the, um, the headlines, so to speak, right? Okay, we just got that one. Let's see what else we got. Got that one. Oh, you got this, 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 this Jake right here, Houston rapper, Big Pokey dies after on stage collapse. And we, hey, you know, hey, I'm not, I don't want to bear no false witness. We don't really know why he collapsed. But a lot of shit been going on since Jake them ran out here and rolled their sleeves up. Because see, to do these shows, to go on the road, to go into certain places, go into certain venues, you know, to, to, to um, go and do certain scenes if you're an actor, all these different things. You have to roll that sleeve up and get that Capri Sun. And you know what I'm talking about. That Jabberwocky. So that's he's a he's another one that's out of here. Let me get one. He's another one that's out of here. Let's get this I, Isaiah 45 in verse 7. Salakia. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You see who creates evil? It's not your boy Satan, man. Satan gets his 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 instructions from the Lord and he goes and handle business. Satan is not even with the Lord. Satan don't have no sit down at the table and 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 there's no negotiating as if it's China and US uh, uh talking about, you know, some business as far as um nuclear weapons or some shit. No, the Lord is in control, man. The Lord sends Satan and his, you know, and, 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 and um, these different spirits to go forth and, and do the, the, these killings, so to speak, man. These, these tragic things that people call them, man. It's the Lord. It's the Lord, man. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's prove it. Let's go up into it. Because that might have been about my last headline anyway. But I was kind of looking through some of these headlines. I'm like, God damn, what the hell going on? Jake out here running around with assault rifles and day, clear daytime shooting at and they were shooting at her. It wasn't like they hit her by mistake. They was after her. So she done something and it was two people. All right? Okay, so let's get into um, the Apocrypha real quick. The um, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach. And these books are, if you have a 1611 King James Bible, 
these books are in between the Old Testament and the New Testament before the so-called white man got slick and wanted to try and take shit from the scriptures as if he has this mentality of righteousness, man. Okay, let's get um, 39 and 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that, that made them. So the Lord created these spirits for vengeance. So the Lord had, uh, 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 you know, had some beef with um little pregnant lady. The motherfucker that, that, that fell 4,000 feet from the cliff, you know. These people that got popped up on, um, on Father's Day. All kinds of Jake lost their lives on Father's Day. Here you go, fathers become fatherless on Father's Day. Ain't that something? <laughs> what I tell you, boy? Fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. So the Lord created these deaths. The Lord set up a situation for these people to walk right into the trap. Didn't even know that they was going to walk right into the trap, man. It was a Jake just strangled out a woman. He, uh, he supposedly proposed to her two weeks ago. Strangled her ass out and, 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 and set her on fire. Young, young pretty um, little so-called black woman, man. So the Lord is no respect to her persons, man. The Lord is taking out kids, infants, elderly women. You see what I'm saying? Jake is out here ruthless as hell. It says teeth the wild beast and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Because there's been a lot of dog maulings. People been getting ate up by their own damn pets, man, lately. You know? Motherfuckers getting ran down by a mountain cat just out of nowhere. You see? Verse 31, it says, They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when the time is come, and when and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. So these spirits, they're not gonna be like, oh Lord, well, she's pregnant. They're not gonna say that. They're glad to get that commandment. They snickering, laughing. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hit them boys with that spirit, them boys with the clacking them things. Do, 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 do. Didn't care about her um, because she she was just about to have a baby, too. I think she was like. Uh, 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 had about two more weeks before, um, um, you know, having a baby. Jake is heartless, man. That's why I say that Matthew 24 and 12, because of uh, the, um, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Jake is the, and especially these little niggas, man, this new, this new generation of niggas. That's a whole nother hybrid breed of just nothing but idiot, man. Straight stupidity, idiot. It's best to steer clear of any of these niggas, man. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, man. I love my people, but man, you, hey, look. <laughs> you taking a chance being around any of these little niggas. If you see them at the gas station, liquor store, any of that stuff, and you just feeling like you have to stop, and they're in a group, uh, keep it pushing, man. Take the chance of running out of gas, man, before you pull up and these niggas are around, especially at a certain time of the day. If you not, and, and it's a shame, man. Jake got to carry a gun for his own people. Everybody in the city got a fucking gun, man, because of their own people, man. It's retarded. Anyway, though, let me see what else I had in here. I think that might have been it. Because the Lord will set you up perfectly, man. The Lord don't have no problem setting you up. Get this one right here. I think these were some, um, ain't no telling, these might have been um, some damn Elamites or something like that, or Ishmael. It's probably Ishmaelites. Five women killed in car crash a day before their friend's wedding in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And one of the, the youngest one was 17. I think the oldest one was probably about, let me see what the ages are. They out of here. Here you go, right here. Not, not even one of them was 21. Two 20-year-olds, two 19-year-olds, and a 17-year-old. Little Muslims. 
You know them little Muslims, man. Them, them be some pretty little mamas. And you already know, they out here sad as hell. The Lord will take all your mirth away. Just like that. He'll take it away from you like it's nothing, man. You'll be happy. <laughs> Everything all laughter. They went out to the club the night before. Because, see, you know, these, these Ishmaelites, they came to America were, you know, these Americanized ones that grew up here. Hey, they ain't nothing but just niggas, too. They ain't no different than, um, the, you know, they, they, they all trying to take after the nigga woman. They all out here clapping them things, man. I be rolling. I roll through their neighborhood today. You know what I'm saying? Because we have a large population of Ishmael, Ishmaelites here, man. They had their heads covered, but guess what? They got them leggings on, showing that thing. <laughs> so, you, you know, I was reading through the story. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. They, they was out partying, doing that thing. But it wasn't their fault as far as this, this particular accident. And that shows you the timing, that impeccable timing that the Lord has when he takes you out of here. Because when I read this story, the police officer or state trooper or whatever it was, he said he just had seen that car on the freeway and, and the car exited off an of exit before he could get him, you know, I guess, you know, get him behind him, whatever, whatever, and give him, you know, to try and shut him down. So, you know, he comes up off that exit. He blows through a light and he bang. There, there you go. It's all over with. It's a wrap. It's a done deal. Now, instead of this wedding, you're planning five funerals. The Lord is cold, man. Lord is cold. You can't, you can't even compute in your mind how, how, how cold the Lord is, man. You can't calculate that shit. The Lord's calculation of putting somebody down is cold as shit, man. It's cold, bro. It's a cold process because it's so many things that have to go and play in order for the Lord to actually do that, man. Like, for real, for real. You talking about chess. We ain't even thinking about chess. Chess can't even, it's not even a, you know, you might have somebody that's like, oh, yeah, I see five moves ahead. Six, seven moves ahead. Man, the Lord put this shit together before the earth was um, even put together. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man, the Lord is cold, man. Let me see what else we got. Hey, this one right here, too. This one was cold. Driver thrown from motorcycle killed while speeding weaving through traffic on i-94 and i be seeing these bastards and, and you know you know what people don't be feeling sorry for people like this you don't be feeling sorry for people like this man As a matter of fact let me go back off into this uh let me see uh man it's been a while on that scripture oh to lock you. Nobody feels sorry for a clown that's on the freeway bobbing and weaving on a fucking motorcycle doing a hundred. Nobody feels sorry for your dumb ass when you fly off and you doing Superman. Nobody cares, man. <laughs> Straight up. That, I mean, it just is what it is. Ecclesiasticus same book, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come now wild beast? Who's going to pity a charmer? Who's going to pity a person that jumps off into a goddamn um, um, lion's den at a zoo? You're like, you're looking at this nigga like, nigga, is you crazy? Go, uh, uh, uh. You know, you might hear them oohs and ahs and oh no, and, you know, little shit like that. But, but in the meanwhile, when it's all said and done, <laughs> people are gonna be like, well, that's what the fuck he get. You see what I'm saying? That's what he get. So that goes for this guy right here. And it, I think this was a Jake too. Real talk, I think this was a Jake. Cause Jake be doing that silly shit, I see it, man. They popping willies, they doing all kinds. They're like, look, man, just ride the damn bike and go to where you gotta go and come. But Jake be out here doing all manner of shit, man. See, we're plain people. The scripture says that Jake is a plain man, but living here in these Americas, uh, uh, Jake is starting to do the type of shit that Esau would do. Esau, it, it, Esau be paragliding and shit, man. Let that, that dude be swimming with the sharks. Matter of fact, right now, it's a, um, what is that? Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Show you how, how silly Esau is. This is the type of shit he be into. Supposed to be like a little mini submarine. 
I ain't even had to put all the shit in. Here you go, right here. Now here you go. You got five people. Let me see what this shit say. So like you bear with me here. A tour submarine. They don't even have a full. Let me see. They got the full. Let me go into the news of it. Jake out here acting a goddamn fool. But anyway, it's five people on this on this little mini submarine, right? And basically, they tour the the old Titanic that sunk. They take you down fifteen thousand feet almost, and you just in this this little small last submarine. This shit got ninety six hours worth of air. In case everything go, and they looking for this damn submarine. They looking for this submarine. They don't know where they at. They don't know where to begin the search. They don't know where the fuck. They don't know what's happening. So here they go. I'm not even sure how much air they got left. But this is Esau. This is the type of shit he's into. You get into some shit like that and just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna go and see an old boat. Jake not into that, man. That's how we know that this is Esau Edom. That cunning hunter, that man of the field. The scripture says that Jake was a plain man. See, generally, we're plain people. We don't, hey, all we want to do is, is, you know, hey, we got food. We're going to cook. We'll barbecue. We'll throw some music on. We'll dance our asses off. We'll drink. You know what I'm saying? You know, go and have sex with our women. You know, do, do, you know, plain shit. Here you go, this man, he'll go 30,000 feet up. 40,000 feet up in the air in a damn airplane and jump out of that bitch with a parachute on. You know? He, I mean, he'll bungee jump. He'll, I mean, he, this, is the, this, this is the carnival ride, man. I've never been a carnival ride person. I ain't getting on no goddamn carnival rides. What the hell out of here? What for? This man climbing Mount Everest. He wants to be out in the bush. He wants to hunt lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. But that's just this, you know, uh, you know, that's another lesson. That's another lesson. It just made me think because these people right here probably about to catch the business too. And that's all by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei And I'm going to tell you what, if they do find them, I bet you right now they scared as fuck. <laughs> I bet you they super scared right now. Terrorized right now. Because they done lost contact with the, with the people up top. They've been lost to contact. They can't contact them. They don't know where they at. And like I said again, in that in that particular type of um area, man, they might not even find these people. It took them a while to find a damn Titanic. <laughs> hey man. Anyway, let's see though. I think that was that might have been about it, man. Here this guy go. He's on the damn freeway, weaving and bobbing. He runs into the back of a car, and and now you know at a hundred miles an hour or so. You hit the back of a car on a motorcycle and you take off from that motherfucker, you are flying at least the length of a football field damn near. And you know what you, you know what kind of impact when you hit the ground? And you know Jake be riding on bikes, man, because here in, in, in Michigan, you don't have to have a helmet on. Which is crazy as shit. They, they stopped that like a few years back. I don't know, could be, I don't know, it could be, I don't know, some years, it's been some years. But I'm thinking to myself, they'll pull me over, give me a motherfucking ticket for a seatbelt, but they'll allow a, a, a person to ride a motorcycle at 80 miles an hour with no damn helmet on. That shows you how backwards Esau is. Esau is backwards as hell, man. You see what I'm saying? So I think, let me see. <laughs> Maybe it was one more. I think that was pretty much about it, though. Uh... Oh boy, this right here was kind of, you know, saddening. But hey, I mean, it is what it is, man. The Lord is, is is knocking people off. A toddler whose badly decomposing body was found hidden in the bottom of the dresser died of unspecified means. How in the fuck the baby, uh, like, uh, come on, man. But that lets you know the power of the Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man, and he's not to be played with. Y'all better, y'all better, y'all better um, get some healthy fear of the Lord. The Lord is no respect to a person, man. The Lord is knocking off babies, man. So, hey, I'm going I'm to leave it there, man. You know, hey, <laughs> hey, go off into um, First Kings and see how the Lord set a hob up. The Lord will set you up, man. Straight up. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. 
Kom, jasje, alle.